If you're struggling with MSP sales and you've watched a bunch of these videos, this might be the video for you. Now, if you've never done MSP sales before, this video is still for you. It's great to keep in the back of your mind. And believe it or not, 0 0.300 has a massive thing to do with it. And on top of that, I'm gonna give you three different ways to get significantly better with your MSP sales. And three is, I have never seen it anywhere on the internet before. It is probably my best kept secret of all time. Before I get into today's video, my name is Harrison Barron from growth-generators.com. And as always, I gotta tell you guys, number one, there is always the masterclass down below. Go check it out. And Growth Generators, we help MSPs with sales training and marketing. And two, there's always a Discord link down below. It's completely free Discord. Discord has been giving me a really hard time for whatever reason, their link always expires. And yes, I know I need to set it to doesn't expire. Trust me, I do that every time. And for whatever reason, it still breaks. Just let me know in the comments. I will get it up and running very, very quickly. And I'll comment letting you know it's there. Come check it out. We have over 100 people. I think like close to 150 now, and it is continuously growing. It's just a fantastic community for MSP business owners and MSPs looking to break into the space. Or if you're an expert and you want to come hang out and provide some free knowledge, I'd appreciate it. So let's talk about point three zero zero. Now, if you're a baseball fan, in true transparency, I am not a big baseball person. I'll watch a game here and there, but for the most part, I'm a numbers guy, and numbers are highly related to baseball. Point three zero zero is a good batting average for a professional level baseball player that means only about a third of the time that they get to the plate they're actually hitting the ball now you're probably like harrison i'm gonna click away why does point three zero zero mean anything in msp sales well the reality is is it kind of doesn't but if a professional baseball player is only doing their job correctly a third of the time. What would happen if we got this number to go higher, right? If we could get this number to go up in some kind of fashion, this is the worst arrow I've ever drawn, to a 0.4 or 0.5, heck, maybe even a 0.6. Now, if you've watched the video, you should only be closing half the proposals, that still reigns true. But hey, sometimes you might be an above average player. We wanna get this to a four, a five, or maybe even a 0.6. So that means if you can get it to a 0.5, you're closing half of the proposals that you send out. If you're sending out, I don't know, four proposals a month, eight proposals, 12, 16, whatever that number is, if you could go from a 0.3 or even a 0.2, maybe even a 0.1, you're closing 10% of your proposals to a 0.5, how much more revenue, how much more of this green stuff could we put in your pocket? And before you think, Harrison, don't be one of those influencers that's waving around money. It is fake money, full transparency. We don't lie on this channel. So let's talk about three ways to actually make your sales significantly better. Now, the first one, you guys, I know you're gonna be angry at me, but it's true. You gotta just go out and do the sale. You gotta do the sale. You gotta get out of the house. You gotta get out of the office, wherever you're working from. And you gotta go out and actually practice the sale. And you're only gonna get better at it if you're going out and doing it over and over and over and over again. Professionals practice to get better. You could practice to get better. You're only gonna get better and learn about yourself and the prospect by going out and doing the sale. Now, if you're like Harrison, I like to do cold calls. Guess what the best way to get better at cold calls is? Pick up this little device and make the phone call. You're gonna learn, I have scripts and all that kind of stuff. If you'd like to grab a script, they're down below. But I have scripts to help you with your cold calling and it's a great foundation. But the best way to get better at cold calling, going out and doing the sale, building out your proposals, is by going out and doing the sale. When we came, into this earth, we were not built with the knowledge of how to wipe computers, build out servers, work on Active Directory, get people in the cloud, set up networking switches. It didn't come pre-programmed in our brain. We had to get it, we had to try it, test it, break it, fix it, the whole nine. I think that's like a Daft Punk song, right? So you gotta go out and you gotta do the sale. It's the best way you're gonna get knowledge, I promise you. Yeah, it's gonna be uncomfortable, and when you start out, unfortunately, Let's cover up this three here, but maybe you start out and maybe you're only at a 10% closing rate. 
You know what the best part about being in a 10% closing rate is? It's a heck of a lot easier to go from 10% to 20% than from 40% to 50%. So there's only one way to look at it, and that's to look up. So we've covered doing a sale, which in my opinion is bar none the best thing that you can do. Now, the second best thing that you could do, and this is the most slept on tactic in the world, is, and don't take this out of context, you gotta role play. Role playing is essential. Now, you might be thinking, Harrison, well, what's the difference between role playing and doing the sale? The sale you're gonna do in front of a customer, right? But role playing is just like the major leagues. They practice all the time. It doesn't matter what sport you're into. Even if you're not even into sports. If you're into esports, they practice as well. It does not matter. You have to, if you don't wanna go out and do the sale, that's okay. Role play. If you have at least two salespeople, maybe you're the MSP business owner, fantastic. If you have at least two salespeople, or maybe you already have a customer, ask them. It's a super weird conversation. I promise you that. Tell them, hey, would you be okay if we like role played? I just wanna see how I can get better. Maybe you can give me some feedback because you're already a customer. I think you'd be pretty surprised on the answers that you're gonna get. Now, if you have somebody that, a friend of yours that owns a business, maybe they're a target client, ask them, hey, do you mind if we pretend that we're actually gonna do a sale? I'm really trying to get better at my sales skills. You'd be so surprised how many people would happily do it, especially for a hot cup of coffee. I promise you, coffees go very far in the IT world. Go out and role play with them. If you wanna practice cold calling, role play. Go into two separate rooms, dial the person's phone. Yeah, they might be sitting next door or get on your voice over IP system, whoever you decide to use, hit their extension and pretend that it is a sales call. You are gonna get so much better, so fast by role playing with somebody you know because they're gonna give you feedback and that feedback is gold. You can practice over and over and over again. If you mess up, you don't lose the sale. It's the best thing in the world. But I know not everyone has somebody to role play with and they might even feel uncomfortable with it. Trust me, you're gonna feel uncomfortable in every situation until you've done it a good handful of times. But the third best kept secret is better than these two. I promise you, before I tell you the third one, I'm gonna ask you politely, because I can't demand anything, just hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell, share this video out with a loved one, maybe somebody in the MSP world. I'd appreciate it either way. Thank you for hitting it. I really appreciate it. So let's get into number three, which I think bar none is the best kept sales secret. And anyone that says it's not is out of their mind because this has worked so good for every business. And I'm gonna give you some examples. Let's talk about a survey. Nope, that's not me. Close enough. I don't really write things on boards most of the time. I type everything. Get surveys. This E is awful. I'm, I'm doing this live here. This is just, this is how we roll. Get surveys. And but what I mean by surveys is I'm not saying you need to send something out, although you can completely automate that, especially in a platform like Go High Level. You put your deal in, your deal, your deal doesn't close, it goes to the close section, triggers an automation to send out a survey, and you can get some real-time feedback. But you don't have to necessarily ask somebody to fill out a survey, but you can call up that prospect and say, hey, hopefully they're still answering you, and if they're not, that's okay. You can send out an email. Hey, no big deal that you didn't choose us to work with. I just have a couple quick questions to get better at sales. Why did you not pick us? Is there something I could have done in my sales role that would have been better or you would have liked to see? Or what was the, the, the company that you went with? What was the big determining factor of why you went with them versus why you went with us? No hate, no nothing. And if you really want to get good feedback, $5 Starbucks gift card. You'd be surprised what people will do for coffee. Getting feedback throughout the entire process, especially if you're in the low closing ratio is it's so incredibly important because as time goes on, you're gonna do the sale, you're gonna practice with your friends and you're gonna get feedback. This one is gonna migrate to a two, which is great. And then over time, this is probably not the best thing. I got a nice little paper towel here. You're gonna get from a two to a three, to then a four and so on and so on until we hit that golden number 
of five. This is the greatest thing. When you're closing half of your proposals, you are not leaving money on the table, you are getting, you're charging the appropriate amount of money, and you know that you're not gonna scale super quickly. If you get this to, I don't know, 1.0 and you close every deal, your team probably can't handle the growth and you're probably leaving money on the table. By getting to that sweet spot of 0.5, your target customers that you're dealing with value what you do. And as they value what you do and you get better, you're gonna be able to do more sales to get better, you're gonna be able to role play more because your team's gonna grow and you're gonna get better overall because you're gonna get feedback through surveys and just simply asking them. It is that simple. This is the best kept secret in the MSP sales world that I could ever give anybody. I don't care who you are, where you're at, how good you are at sales. These are the three steps for succeeding in every MSP sales call. It is what I did to be super successful. It is what I recommend every single student of mine to be successful, coaching, client, whatever it may be. It is so crazy important. You focus on these three, your sales skills are going to skyrocket in a rapid period of time. If you do it a lot more, you're going to just grow and get better faster. That's it. That's all I got for you. I appreciate you taking the time to hit that like button, hitting that subscribe button, notification bell, checking out that masterclass, checking out that Discord, if the link works. If it doesn't, just let me know. I'm always here. I'm always here to help you guys. That's what I do. I like to help you guys. But come hang out. We hang out in Discord sometimes. It's a bunch of good people. Hope this, hopefully this video helps you guys. I love you guys. Thanks for checking it out. I'll see you guys probably tomorrow because I'm doing a video like every other day. No, every day. I took one day off. I'm sorry. Love you guys. Bye.